Hey parents, uh, hopefully you are taking a dig at the newsletter. Uh, this is our second one we've done for the fall. Um, just kind of throwing some resources, some articles at you. Um, you know, we want to be better partners with you as we, of course, you know, are teaching the students each and every week. Um, you know, we want, and we currently see a ton of our students serving in different areas. And, uh, you know, one of the things that probably is the hardest is to stay in the right communication uh, with the students and the parents, of course. Um, we want to provide you as parents with resources to better disciple your students uh, in the home. Um, you know, it's one of the things that I, I think uh, student ministry gets a bad rap for is that it's a place that you can drop your kids off, it's safe, and they can get babysat during the week. Well, that's not what we're about. Um, I'm a terrible babysitter, I'll be honest with you, you know. Now, granted, I've never lost a kid on a trip or anything like that, but, you know, I just want you to know that uh, I take this job very seriously, um, you know going to uh, school, going to seminary and everything, um, that this is a very serious thing for me that um, I'd be able to uh, talk and reach and relate to students um, as they go through school, as they navigate their teen years. And I know sometimes, you know, even being a, a parent of teenagers, you know, I've got two little grandkids now, um, you know, I get to see the big picture. I get to see things changing. My daughter tells me when things aren't cool anymore, or, you know, I shouldn't say that. Um, so, you know, just trying to stay up with the, uh, the, the modern lingo. Um, but this is what I want to help you with as a parent as well. And so each and every month, you know, I put these things out, but I just want to, you know, open up uh, in an invitation that, listen, we're going to be um, keeping the doors open. We would love for you to stop back in the, the student ministry. Um, I'll be honest, we need, um, we need more workers. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to call you a volunteer. I'm going to be called, uh, you know, it's going to be a place to serve. And so we need people to step up, you know, with our guys, with our girls. I mean, we have a little bit of a crisis going on. I'll be honest with you. We don't have a lot of men uh, stepping up to work with our boys. And granted, we've got like 25, 30 boys in our student ministry. Um, these are some great kids, but they need mentors. They need people to be able to lead them. Um, it's, it's just too much for one person to do. Um, I, I am very, um, you know, happy that we've got a couple of guys who are just very selflessly, um, they work with these guys each and every week, but we do need more. Um, we've been very fortunate in the last couple of years to gain a couple of uh, awesome women in our our student ministry and uh, here recently uh, we're adding uh, a, a young leader um, to it which is great you know we've got this um, you know kind of we're, we're all getting older you know and stuff and, and we've got to get younger in some places so um, you know you're gonna see a, a young college uh, girl her name is Maddie Morgan uh, she was an intern in Ecuador and she's gonna be working with our girls and so we're excited about that so when you see her welcome her with open arms um, awesome awesome young lady now and in saying that, you know, we, we do have things coming up. We have different events. When we do things like Friday Night Lights, uh, when we do things like, um, you, you know, you're going to see like some of our Sunday events like going to Sky Zone or Urban Air, uh, you know, the Turkey Bowl, um, just these things. Please know that you are always invited to step in. It's not just a place to drop your kids off and run, but if you would like to go with us, um, just talk to me. You as a parent always have that right, and I just want you to know that. Um, I just want you to hear from, you know, my heart as far as, you know, I mean, as your kids go through the student ministry, I want to see them graduate, not just, you know, you know, scathing by like they barely made it, but they are active, learning, growing Christians who want to serve, who are currently serving, that they are the church. Um, we're going to be doing uh, more things to blend generations together. You know, we had a uh, game night not too long ago and we thought it went great. You know, we had ice cream, of course, everyone likes ice cream, but um, be able to do this game night with generations mixing at the tables. And, and that that's important. It's a big step, you know, so get involved in those when you see those on Sunday afternoons. We've got one coming up in um, November. Um, you know, we've got this Thanksgiving potluck and, and trivia night. So um, this is going to be a whole church family thing to, to mix generations, to bring two services together as a united body of Christ. Um, the other thing is that, you know, we have events like the trunk or treat. You know, we need lots of cars in our parking lot handing out candy on uh, Sunday evening, uh, I believe it is the 27th of October. So, um, you know, sign 
up for that? You know, these are all things that we need your help with. Um, anyways, I am always here. Uh, my phone, uh, 321-750-4919. Email mjackson at egfirst.org. Uh, you, can, can, you, you can find me really easily on social media, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, uh, whatever it is. So um, shoot me some questions. You ever need to just like sit down, bring your kid in, have a meeting, whatever it is. Um, just please know I'm here. Um, anyways, hope you're having a good day. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. All right, see ya.